so welcome everyone to the live streaming of uh, second round of the IIFL wealth uh, under 13 tournament today i have with me amruta mokal hi all so there are few things that we would like to do today one is uh, to see some live games and the other one is also to show you some of the environment over here that's happening so that you can get a feel of it uh, by sitting at your home uh, so what should we start off with yeah this game looks really interesting and quite complicated not very easy to assess i would say yes the game is between pranesh who is black and Sh shadur shan not an easy name pranesh is black uh, he's the higher rated player he's uh, rated uh, 1977 while uh, Sadurshan is 14.68 and uh, th there have been a few more moves that have been made in the position so let's just get up to speed uh, okay we need to just uh, going through the entire game I think Pranesh made some mistake at some point and he yeah, had he had a completely like a better position here yes but uh, suddenly he lost all his queen side pawns i don't know how that happened uh, let's just have a look yeah he lost first the a7 pawn somewhere maybe yeah, time here. pressure was he having yeah maybe he was under time pressure and so white picked up the a7 and b6 yeah. pawn I think so now, now it's be mainly a race between the b6 and h4 pawn yeah it's a it's a race between this pawn on h4 b5. and yeah. these two pawns here so well there are few more moves played king h7 queen d7 uh, rook g2 king f1 rook b2 mm -hmm. black is trying to stop the pawns but okay a5 the pawns are going up and you can't play h3 just as yet because queen into h3 yeah hanging. queen into h3 is hanging so yeah, you have rook to play rook b3 now he's threatening h3 so it's it's a nice battle between uh, the, the two pawn. pieces knight and bishop are defending the king mm -hmm. and uh, the rook is active with the h pawn mm -hmm. while over here the queen is active with the two pawns so it's yeah. it white should be better but somehow the h pawn is not so easy I to mean, control i mean the only try would be to get white king in some mating net with the pawn and the minor pieces otherwise yeah or the queen the pawn yeah otherwise it doesn't look so good no a6 so white is also now two steps away from queening h3 mm -hmm. and and the point is you can't push a7 here because of h2, h2. Yeah. and uh, queens queens Okay, queen would be mate that. if you yeah. make a queen. But what if you go? Uh, what are the options? King g2 is one option. Mm -hmm. Rook b2 check. Yeah, king rook h1. B2, king h1. Now just one check, but it's not possible to move the pieces. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't uh, look very promising yeah. over here. Perhaps this was a try. Uh, just rook a2 b6. b7 maybe also. Yeah, uh, but I don't want to play queen b7 because mm. it's possible actually. Yeah. There is, there is because this is pinned. This bishop is yeah. pinned here. So is the down. question is, why didn't uh, White just push his pawn to a7 here? I think uh, if you don't do h2, you are anyway losing the game. Yeah. So you must push, and now king g2. Uh, I I don't H2 think that uh, uh, yeah anyway. Knight f4, king h2. No, yeah, I don't even have rook h3 check. Yeah, knight f4 doesn't work <laughs> because bishop. If I had rook h3, at least king g1, bishop c5, you know. But everything is pinned, <laughs> yeah. So king f1, but that would have been a mate. <laughs> right. So this is not working out for uh, black over here. What happened in the game? In the game, I think he played king g1, uh, trying to be a little bit safe. Mm -hmm. uh, is Sudarshan? Sorry, pardon me if I if I didn't get the name right. Uh, king h6, okay. a7 was played, and now bishop c5 check. Wow, getting a piece yeah. in. But but I think king h2. Yeah, that's what uh, Sudarshan played. Uh, Pranesh is black here. 
and he tried to stop the pawn over here by playing rook a3 right now he seems to be winning the pawn on a7 queen d2 check king at 7 queen d7 repetition well perhaps and we are looking at at a, at a draw here uh, king but let's try to see if white is playing for a win i think white should play for a win so after king h6 how do you win this position well the point is everything is hanging in the air so i think i'm sure there is yeah. some kind of a tactical trick that we can employ yeah, i think c5 is hanging if a rook a queen h3 if we could get yeah definitely queen into h3 King G7 is forced. But this will not be easy. If I get any check, Queen C3, and I, I think I'm winning. The yeah, this is just the winning. Yeah. But if you play, so then you have only option of King uh, G5. No, but Queen F5 again, I'm winning. Yeah. And then you. I mean, if there is no mating, then the King H after King H4, yes. So, so it means that in this position, after Queen D7, King H6, you can just make a queen. And after rook 8, there is queen h3, nice. Yeah, but is there any intermediate move instead of rook into 8? Any check or anything? No, nothing much. Yeah. Not really. Yeah, rook a2 check, king in. Ah, rook 8, but no, I'll just take the <laughs> So you take queen h3 and then uh, you're losing. So uh, this position, uh, yesterday yeah. we saw the game between Atul Dahale and Suwat Atalik where uh, the side with the queen and a pawn couldn't break through. But two pawns is just a bit too much. And it's a uh, knight, yeah? So yeah. Yes. So, uh, Umkar Chakradev says, I think white will win. Hard to dislodge the king from h1. Yes, you are right, Omkar. I think this is uh, just yeah. not working out for black. So, Pranesh, who finished as a joint winner in uh, mm -hmm. under 11 nationals, is facing defeat. Uh, today, there were many more uh, interesting games. Bukesh won at the top board. Yes. So, a lot of interesting stuff, but what we would like to show you right now mm. is uh, some of the pictures that Amruta has taken uh, from the when, from the tournament. This is the playing venue. Yeah, it's, it's really beautiful. <laughs> is, this, is this one of the best uh, playing venues that you have captured? Uh, no, because the World Cup final round between Aronian and Ding was like an opera and I like uh, beautiful venue so yeah yeah the but of course in india i think uh, this is excellent definitely this is very nice and uh, what do you think about the lighting here as a photographer you found it a little bit too low yeah yeah it's quite dim and um, yeah, definitely tough and in chess you know as you know you cannot use the flash after first five minutes so uh, yeah, yeah these capture are, uh, the moments is not easy some of the things that organizers should take care of the good lighting for better pictures because it improves the branding okay. of the tournament uh, there are a few more pictures this is the tournament hall again over here uh, this time in colored uh, and they have this nice huge banner yeah it's a beautiful uh, they have a beautiful logo Ek, it's, it's called as egg yeah. yeah right mm. <laughs> and uh, some very nice pictures yeah, of the young boy. Yeah, this guy was playing and when I went to take the picture, he was so happy and <laughs> during the game, he smiled at me. <laughs> he gave you a very nice smile, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Is, I don't know how to explain this expression, but um, it's really interesting and I was very happy with this expression. It's, it's not normal. <laughs> it's like as if it's he like is... like some uh, question mark on his face. He, he's uh, kind of... His breath is taken away by a move. <laughs> he, he found some amazing move. Yeah. Uh, that's the opening ceremony that took place. Uh, Ronak Shet, who is uh, one of the key elements in IIFL well. And uh, that's me, actually, yeah. <laughs> talking. And Amruta... Uh, th thanks to Amruta, some of my pictures also get captured. And this is a very nice one. <laughs> so so cool, coolly and calmly she's sitting. I think uh, in under 13 you will find these kind of pictures. 
in open if i go everyone <laughs> knows what they are doing ah they know so, they, they yeah. when you come they just uh, pose nicely in front of you while in under in, in open. open in under yeah, 13 they they, they, show, uh, they they show you their raw uh, no, they expressions no they are not they are not expecting the, uh, themselves to be captured so uh-huh. when i go there sometimes they just see what, uh, what is happening and i get the click you know they don't have nice. time to reset <laughs> yeah wonderful and uh, these are some of the pictures from the open over here uh, that sham sundar over here gm and then this young boy over here uh, <laughs> i think you like this picture because mainly it the was the pen uh, goes towards the other direction and his hand goes towards the other direction <laughs> so there is you know kind of some geometry i would yeah. say <laughs> right and he's stretching out to make the move and that's uh, grandmaster uh, suvat atalik yeah who who is one of the it's not coming fully you are cutting the pictures yeah it's a little bit short let me see if i can adjust it here like this yeah no more maybe more because the full board was there i, I remember my pictures like you remember your games <laughs> yeah something like this yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. suwat uh, is uh, a very he is a very nice commentator i would say like he speaks really well yesterday when he was analyzing his game against atul dahale it was so nice uh, to see it it was like a training session yes <laughs> and sure. i i was wondering he, he should be invited for world championships for uh, commentary you know he's very funny it's possible <laughs> yeah he might get invited uh at least for now we are learning a lot from him yes uh that's uh, a young youngster from mumbai suhani loya uh, again it's a, it's a very nice picture where you are covering her face with the pieces correct like a border like a frame yes yeah and then the expression also not a, it's not a normal again <laughs> right you know it's like what's happening and that's uh, uh <laughs> tarun tarun kanya marala from uh, ireland who got the best game of the day award today okay that's uh, nice so he played a nice game and uh, he's With very the tense the picture it didn't seem <laughs> like the game was he looks going very tense right nice. now uh, yeah that's how it looks basically that's the playing hall and that's gukesh on the top board he started his tournament off with b3 yesterday <laughs> the number of players out there 300 players yeah almost <laughs> and that's amruta that's special that's a morning round yeah so i mean these little kids what what can you expect <laughs> yeah from kenya is come and for him waking Traveling. up at 9:30 <laughs> is just too early yeah it's still uh, night over there so uh, he uh, this yawns are your uh, specialty as a photographer no not not really but like <laughs> he's so cute <laughs> right he's very cute and one more yawn of oh, this young young boy <laughs> is is from india yes yes i think so mm-hmm. that's top seed abhijit gupta uh, he drew his game yesterday against kiran manisha mohanty yeah and he was here showing some analysis yes. which was really good uh, by the way we have online uh, malle gupta uh, correct me if i pronounced your name wrong he says good afternoon sagar sir and amruta ma'am i have completely watched your stream with vishal sir that was outstanding thank you uh in fact uh, you comment on almost all uh the videos that <laughs> we produce uh so ayush gupta is your name um thank you so much for following chess base india and all our videos in fact uh, you have become quite popular actually a lot of people tell us who is male gupta he comments on every video of yours so <laughs> so very nice you. yes uh that's anuj shivratri yes he is improving really fast i would say and this guy is very underrated also I yeah he's say. 2150 and uh, he is one of madhya pradesh's best hopes to get a uh, first grand master from their state uh, let's see if he can do it uh if i'm not wrong that's vinay ahuja he is the yes uh also a key part of iifl team another girl very shy yeah no i don't think she is just in her own world yes this very the candid picture they are picture. enjoying yeah chess it's it's nice i like to watch them and it's so 
kind of you know stress release you can say it's really fun to see what's happening <laughs> everyone is calling arbiter there is test to move yeah 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 we have some very <laughs> nice videos of uh, arbiters have to work overtime here in the <laughs> under 13 section that's alberto david i have never seen him lose so many games as i did in bhopal open yeah, uh, so <laughs> he would be looking for some kind of a revenge here from indian players <laughs> <laughs> who, who gave him a tough time ah, that's a nice one yeah, as you, as we know it's a morning round and there are yawns and sleeps i would like to say that okay this position is just the opening so you are right but i would like to say he blundered right now and he's so depressed with his position <laughs> That's uh, one of the biggest talents of India, uh, Divya Deshmukh. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of determination in her, a lot of focus, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised that if she became uh, one of the best players in India in a few years, sure. giving giving a tough fight to Padmini and uh, even to Harika and Hampi. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is like again a really cute picture you can see her expression and the way she is sitting you know to get <laughs> a little bit of height <laughs> yeah uh, and, yeah, and if you come <laughs> over here you know i i tell people don't go to the mall come to iifl well <laughs> because you have pani puri you have nachos, uh, nachos and sandwiches and all oh, these drinks, drinks. amul drinks with exotic flavors i think grilled sandwiches and everything completely hygienic that yes. i would say definitely which you don't normally find on the roadside yeah so come to iifl here in bandra in mount litera because it means that you get free entry first of all and then you can eat all of these things <laughs> also so it's like free yeah. entertainment uh, and over here to come and meet us yeah and meet us over here chess base india team and also uh, get to see some really cool players like Timur Garev or uh, No, but I don't think they allow inside the ah, visitors. They that don't is a big problem. Ah, they don't allow but, to but, watch. But still, a lot of players come out after the game. Yeah. And you know, the, the games keep ending sometimes very soon. Yes. So it's a chance to meet these players also. And every day it's a single round. So p players are relaxed after the game. Yes. And Shankar J says, thank you very much. Uh, for uploading video on Vishy's blitz and rapid events, very much visible how much you love chess and Vishy. Great <laughs> work, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah we uh, really love chess. Uh, Vishy is, of course, one of the greatest players of India, so we have to follow him at all costs. In fact, yesterday night when, when it was 1 a.m., we reached him, I mean, uh, we got a message from him about his tournament and uh, we published an article today so also uh, we got uh, quotes from aruna anand who said she was ecstatic so when vishy wins really everything else has to stop and we focus on that uh, True. omkar chakradev says i will definitely come one day with friends that's amazing yes. and ayush gupta says thanks a lot for all the videos you are really hard worker and promotes chess a lot in india i'm glad that people are finding these videos useful in fact, uh, we have uh, one person sitting right opposite us right now, standing in fact. His name is Aryan Polakre and he also <laughs> watches a lot of our videos uh, and uh, he has reached a rating of now 1950. Uh, so you should, you, do you give us some credit? Yes. <laughs> yes, okay, that's good. <laughs> so, so we are happy that people are making progress. Uh, that's Timur Garev. Uh, always smiling. I'm and sure Aryan would be here one day showing his best game <laughs> because he's Definitely. a really strong player and yes. he knows he's more of a you know book book player you can say knows all the players knows informators and all those games in the books which is yeah. yeah not very normal. Not very normal for young kids these days they usually don't have good knowledge of the classics but uh, well maybe Aryan is an exception. Uh, and uh, Tharun says hi Sagar and Mithun Raj also says hi to us so hello everyone welcome and Niklesh Jain is from my town says Ayush Gupta that's wonderful okay. uh, Maha Arnav Deka says what is your rating uh, I am rated around 2410 Amruta is 21 20, no, 2070 or something uh, 
uh, we have to check our rating maybe on 1st of jan <laughs> that's what, that's our new year resolution uh, that was the no opening <laughs> opening ceremony in fact i want to uh, recount a very funny incident that happened um, in the opening ceremony if i could just show uh, this position here uh, it was uh, the game between uh, some guest who had come uh, i think it was ronak seth and it was uh, ah, abhijit gupta yeah yeah abhijit gupta so ronak played the move f4 <laughs> and uh, abhijit played e5 okay. and then he played g3 mm -hmm. and abhijit played e f4 g f4 and and here abhijit had a chance to you know execute the shortest <laughs> game of his life mate in 3 mm -hmm. uh, but he was so kind and he played knight f6 Oh, and uh, he missed the mate maybe <laughs> <laughs> i don't think and after the game uh, after uh, it ended he he came up to me and said that uh, it was uh, i mean i i told him that maybe you you would get sponsored by ifl for your kind <laughs> kind gesture <laughs> so amrut uh, yeah, uh, nice omkar one. says uh, amruta try to take a pick of timur's head from above Yeah, I have in Bhopal. I took a lot of <laughs> pictures, so I will definitely post it soon. <laughs> yeah, very nice. So maybe we can we'll get to see Timur from the top. <laughs> He really has an interesting hairstyle, I would say. <laughs> yes, yeah, so last few pictures maybe I think we we covered most of them. Um, yeah, that's Gukesh, and I think uh, this is a beautiful picture. It shows his determination somehow. and it shows his uh, very strong will to to play um, before the game if you look at him he's so focused uh, on the board uh, closing his eyes and uh, focusing by the way the white mark on his forehead is some kind of uh, a religious practice but uh, right now after his second round game got over i went to up, up to him and said you know can we do some short interview i want to ask you about your game and he said can we do it after my round because you know i want to uh i want to play uh, in the evening and i want to play well so i think uh, it shows his focus <laughs> yes uh, hardik vyas says focus as well yeah for sure um mithun raj is here gukesh is a great talent just 11 years old i think he will be a super gm soon yeah i also have a feeling that he will uh, achieve a lot in the times to come so it's going to be very exciting uh, to follow him maybe just sure, like yeah. prag and nihal yes definitely he is the next thing i think yeah so the game between sudarshan and pranesh that we were looking Is at in a draw uh, and uh, and this is what i i would like to maybe make what this a saying? very important lesson in this uh, of this session is that <laughs> whenever you this was the position last position yeah. in which they accepted a draw something? no the thing is that of course i i think this is just winning if you make a queen over here he must take it yeah it all looks and then really you check queen h3 and now the king queen has g. two squares yeah and either of it this. then you lose the bishop and anyway and if you go here okay. you go here check and if you come here you go here check so overall queen h4 queen into c5 rook h Rook A2 check. There's no, nothing, nothing there. Nothing. So uh, I think it's just because he is 1400 and his opponent is 1900. That's why he accepted a draw. And this is something uh, that yeah. chess players should always avoid getting influenced by your opponent's rating. This is something that you shouldn't be letting you affect yourself because. he might have he if he would have tried a little bit harder like two I more moves or, yeah exactly he would have gone home moves. with a full point instead of half so it's, it's yeah it's completely psychological <laughs> yeah it's uh, terrible that uh, this game has ended in a draw uh, we have vishal here and uh, vishal could uh, join us and uh, maybe uh, take over my place would you would you like to <laughs> see some games Uh, yes. No, no, wait. Wait. No, 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 you be. No, 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 please, Alice. <laughs> okay, let's let's get him on and uh, Vishal. Uh, I don't know. I've not been uh, really following this day's proceedings, unfortunately. Hooked up in some other jobs. Okay. So, but uh, but yes, okay. Back to 
where um, I want to be. That is chess. Ayush <laughs> Gupta says, Vishal Sarin, sir, you are the best chess coach. Oh, well, uh, honored Ayush, thank you very much. But uh, I do not consider myself to be the best <laughs> chess coach at all. <laughs> but, but yes, uh, thank you. Thank you for the compliment. Yes, Shankar J says, blindfold symbol of Timur, is it CBI's uh, initiative or was it scheduled event? No, it was a event uh, organized by the organizers of the Bhopal Open. So In fact, we are trying to put one together here also. Let's see how it goes. Ah, so really? Yeah, we are, we are hopeful that it, something will click in the coming days. Wonderful. I think Timur uh, doing this live commentary really brightens up an event. Uh, sorry, uh, blindfold, blindfold yeah. Simul. Maybe, maybe we should get him for live commentary as well. He yeah, we'll try and stuff. catch him this evening uh, when we are coming live for the open section. Yeah. And are you uh. only the second board is going on now? Second board is still going on. Yeah, let's look at this. Uh, uh, this Umbarde versus V Pranav, yeah? Yeah, let's have a look at this game. It looks exciting. Okay, we can just quickly move. Uh, oops, sorry. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> well, we just showed them yes. uh, the very exciting of game of yesterday. <laughs> yeah, this is the one. If uh, Abhijit said he didn't miss it. <laughs> the maiden one. <laughs> he said he just left it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, I know that. And uh, it's obvious, if he doesn't miss a move like uh, bishop into a6 and rook into yeah. a6, he's not going to miss this. Uh, but maybe he should try for sponsorship from IFL, you know, the kind gesture he showed <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> not, not a bad uh, Okay, uh, uh, Govind. Uh, this looks like a, clearly already it looks like quite pretty much on top. and Yes, definitely. Uh, it's, uh, it looks like it should be over soon, but it has lasted too long, yeah? Yeah, rook. I mean, White has done everything logically. He's opened the A file and got his rook there. I think he'll double also on the A file and try to get yeah, the. And this B5 pawn is perennially weak. It's going to fall. Um, yeah. So. so, what exactly happened now? He took knight yeah. into B5. That's a tactic over there. Uh, the question is what happens if you take with the bishop? Uh, I think that's what happened. He took with the rook. But what if I take with the bishop yeah, first? I think uh, you just take and play rook a7 and mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's over, kind of. Okay, I take here. You can't take, take first of all with the queen, queen because queen of queen e6. Is, yeah. And you have the knight is pinned on f8. Uh, yeah, so I think taking with the rook now is forced. When yeah. c6 is just, I think, over and out. C6 finishes the game. So, he took rook b5 and yeah, this should not be, I think white yeah, is winning. This is completely winning, yeah. Rook b8 and uh, bishop moves, b5 comes in, then c6 and the pawns are just rolling ahead. So, Pranav again, a very big talent. Pranav and uh, Gukesh, I think these are, these two can be singled out in, uh, from this particular event. Apart from Divya Deshmukh, who is I mean, amongst the girl, obviously she is the best. Yes. And uh, Pranav, of course, I mean, huge, huge talent. Right. Uh, and uh, also, I think this Leon is pretty good. Uh, he he yeah, helped Simen, no, there, Simen you, Agnestein you to a draw, which is really no, nice. Of course, uh, this, is an, this is an ocean. It's a talent pool which is participating here. This is an ocean of talents. Uh, <laughs> in the under 13 section that's what i personally feel i mean you will find uh, lots of other youngsters who are who are trying to carve a niche for themselves yes but uh, uh okay i mean these two remain the strongest probably and then there's also one other boy called pranav anand can we have a look at his game okay he's, uh, he also plays pretty yeah yes, i think yeah, he, is, yeah, uh, he won his game yeah? he won his pretty long he, game yeah against harshini yeah, someone so let's have a look at this game quickly. You think he is also a boy to watch yes, out for? Yes, yes, surely. A very mature chess at, at a very young age. Uh, but uh, okay, I think he's around 2100 now, and he's also just just 10. Okay. Yeah, 11. He's going to be 11 this year. So wonderful. Yeah. Uh, um, we have some people commenting. Uh, there is someone from North Carolina who's watching us. Mm -hmm. So hello, Public Piper. Uh, that's nice of you uh, to. Join us over here. Uh, Shankar says, my suggestion is still pending. You still not added the player's name on the respective sides of the board. Yeah, this is something which we have to keep changing every time. So, 
yeah i also have to ensure that uh, the name of vishal is changed because amruta <laughs> was here uh, no, uh, some time ago yes so we have it here now okay yeah. uh can't tell what you guys are doing that's me okay uh that's public piper okay let's have a look at uh, pranav's game Pran- uh, sorry pranav anand yeah, yeah it's pranav anand so pranav is his first name yes yes okay anand is his father mhm well, that was uh, if i'm not wrong it's d4 yeah d4 yeah. knight f6 knight f was this the one uh if i'm not wrong yeah it yes yes this is the game you know he he, he can play p- pretty mature chess for his age uh, i mean i've been watching this boy for some time and uh so he yeah, i mean like you know the finding moves like a6 which i think is probably important in these kind of positions ah he's uh, black here yeah yeah a6 what is the idea of this move no it's just that you you're just getting ready uh, you know it's it's a good prophylaxis uh, in my opinion because uh, normally i think black is still undecided as to i mean like how to follow up in the game and whether to go for c5 straight up knight b7 c5 or wait for c d5 to happen so keeping all those things in mind just a6 is just you know that little nice surprise i mean it's like opponent will not ex- expect such a move yes but it's still useful i mean uh, i think this is what i was referring to when i said this boy because yeah, he is capable of figuring out these kind of things I yes 97 yeah 97 yeah. yeah so mm. a6 is a really uh, interesting move and your uh, assessment of this boy uh, seems to be correct from moves yeah, like these yeah because uh, okay rook f1 seems okay <laughs> seems not so yeah, good yeah it's it's like uh, okay you are saying pass i say pass now what are you going to do next no i am thinking that uh, the problem is white wanted to play the move b3 mm. but then uh, yes but it's C3. not actually getting trapped you know the there queen. is this tri- trick here ah uh, bishop it's uh, no but the knight can come back but then you yeah the knight can come back here and okay he's piece up yeah, so, so why <laughs> white found that this is a problem so he decided to put his rook on e1 uh, yeah. f1 and so now after b3 as a yeah, queen b3, square exactly. on b3 exactly that's what white's plan is e1 doesn't if you have to make moves like this doesn't look good of course yeah now knight d7 ah, and knight, knight e1. e1 okay f4 knight d2 bd2 and queen is coming to maybe g6 or d2 was probably just not necessary why why did he t- take it yeah i also uh, don't know maybe this just knight uh, f6 yeah followed by queen e8 and you have a good good old uh, dutch stone wall kind of structure where you're not your bishop on b7 is not as bad as it normally is yeah no because uh, if you are going to take on d2 you are just helping white develop his pieces it's not something yeah, what you want it's like not but probably he had some reason can we just because uh, as i see it a uh, white was probably intending to take on e4 himself yeah but okay knight f6 seems normal yeah. and then uh, okay white would have gone maybe knight f3 and then put knight his knight on yeah. e5 yeah So okay, take on b2, bishop d2, knight f6, knight f3, queen e8, knight e5, bishop e5. Ah, this is yeah. some small tactics uh, in. Yeah, it's a nice function. trick which opens up the bishop, and I think now with knight on e4, black would be doing well. Yes. Uh, and uh, this knight and uh, bishop are both clearly superior to this guy here. so that uh, is gives white black at least some small edge although bishop can pop out to b4 at any point and uh, well white doesn't seem to be doing so bad here yeah okay i mean it's it's a kind of position where you want to play with black not white so it's uh, it's it's only probably symbolic but uh, it still is like you know with knight on e4 which cannot be really challenged if bishop incidentally 
takes the knight, then the other bishop will definitely be more powerful than the than the white dark squared bishop. Yeah. So it's uh, it looks like uh, I mean, to, just to sum it up, I think if I want to play this position, I would rather be black than white. Yes. So sure. this is what the idea is. Uh, by the way, there is there are some things. Uh, Omkar Chakradev asks, does anyone play Dutch defense in India? I've never seen any player playing Dutch at almost all levels. Uh, I think uh, Deepan Chakravarti plays it, and he he has played it very successfully on many occasions. Ne Negi played a few Dutch, uh, but it was like uh, not not the not not starting with f5, but d5, e6, and then f5. Okay. And that he did pretty well, and he was quite Stone successful. Stonewall, yeah. Stonewall, but uh, he was extremely successful. I, I remember one game where he beat, uh, uh, I, I think, uh, some some strong woman player mm -hmm. when he was just 11 years of age, using this opening. But Dutch, obviously, I mean, see, no openings are uh, kind of they they can't be ruled out. Yeah. At the top, I think what goes about is is the flavor of the season. So when someone starts to play the Berlin, the Berlin will go on like you know for a few months, and then suddenly something will change, and the evaluation in the opening they keep changing thanks to these computers and the new ideas that the top players are creating almost every day. Yeah. So what happens is, uh, although Dutch has not been uh, favored too much at the top, but uh, Nakamura has played, for example, yes. Leningrad Dutch quite a lot, and. Uh, and uh, yeah, okay, Stonewall and no, not really anyone comes to my mind. Stonewall, Yusupo maybe was one Magnus of the himself, Magnus yeah. played some Stonewall. But, uh, so, a lot yeah. of a lot of guys have played Stonewall. Yeah. And, and because of this move order these days, uh, d4, d5, c4, e6, uh, and then and then they go c6 first, then this F5. triangle yeah, system. This is exactly what Negi used to prefer. Yeah. So, once e3 is committed, then Dutch Stonewall is no longer that. You know, the the typical problems are not faced because the bishop on c1 is almost locked. Correct. So, so in case you guys want to learn this thing, uh, there is a DVD by Michael Krasenko on on uh, this Dutch stone wall, this setup, triangle setup mm -hmm. followed by f5, and Krasenko is definitely one of uh, very impressive players in this line. So. I think the basic difference between good players and uh, uh, not so strong is that once the position is interesting, the good players tend to make uh, best moves and put more pressure on their opponents while the weaker players start going wrong. Like in this position, uh, Black is improving his position. While yeah, uh, so this is how it goes. Uh, I mean, uh, just keeping your position healthy and you know, so that you can just continue making all the nice moves and like bishop coming to d5 is like it's an optimal position in this uh, particular situation probably there's yeah. no better square than d5 for the bishop so black just puts it and white here uh, why did he put rook on d1 i mean c1 yeah of course no obviously yeah, so by the way there's one question which is how is g4 over here uh, i think maybe he's asking before this move uh, the move g4 I think it's uh, weakening because yes, I, what if I uh, just take it? Yeah, take and because the bishop on e1 is just uh, has caused a lot of problems for you right now. The rooks are not connected. Uh, now, if queen g4, just queen c6. I, oh no, e6 is hanging. Yeah, no, just queen g4, rook f1 also looks strong. Rook f1, king f1, and now rook f8 check again. Yeah, that's uh, probably good. Rook king f8 g1. check, king g1 goes back. And now you need to figure out uh, something uh, to. I was thinking of rook f5, but okay, just. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> uh, I think knight g5 could be an interesting move. Where? Now. Knight? Knight g5, yeah. Ah, interesting. Queen g5, queen c6. No, but then, yeah, okay, queen c6. Yeah, if you. If you I'm ready to give bishop e6, queen e6 looks. Uh, or even bishop e6, king h8. Uh, Right. Okay, King H8 may not be promising because D5. I'm not sure what's happening, but Queen E6 looks pretty promising. Yeah, it's still uh, the mating threats uh, look uh, pretty dangerous. Yeah, but also, uh, I mean, if you are just positionally inclined, I think BD5 should do the trick. I mean, this just yes, seems also. like clearly better for Black. Mm. Uh, G5, it's just just a nice trick. It seems. Yeah, it's a nice tactical mm. idea. Knight G5, and so. Uh, 
okay g4 maybe i i wouldn't prefer making that move but then there are not many good moves that uh, white has he took on a6 then came queen a4 and took on a2 so i think he's angling for yeah he C4. just wants to play some end game where he'll be like better forever because the bishop although it's taking a detour from e1 to b4 to e7 to h4 is it is going to come back to e1 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it it's coming back to e1 <laughs> uh, maybe i think you should make that uh, it uh, it'll look interesting here yeah? yeah this is how it, i mean i think the bishop had a very nice uh, path it went from c1 to d2 to e1 to b4 to a3 to e7 to h4 <laughs> Oops, sorry. H4 and then coming back. Yeah, nice, nice diamond in <laughs> <Yeah>. there. <laughs> right. Vipla Narayan says, uh, I wanted to know if a player's personality plays a role at professional level or high level players are stone cold logical movers all the while. Ah, uh, surely they are. Uh, I mean, uh, obviously, a player's personality plays a big role in making them what whoever they are. In fact, uh, in all walks of life, I think this holds true. Yes, definitely. I I have seen people who have been uh, you know kind of uh, impatient or they have been you know they get angry on the board. Also, you see some kind of uh, such moves from their end. While those who are very calm, they there is many. Uh, there is there is a certain clinical detachment which is absolutely must for all the top players. Uh, they they are involved. They obviously there are. Uh, uh, emotions playing in their mind but uh, to show them out it's not not so not so correct probably but uh, okay one player uh, whom we have known for decades and uh, he's been like he shows out like you can read it on his face is gary kasparov but <laughs> okay for him that worked yeah. but uh, i i think for the rest uh, it's hard to find another kasparov uh, yep yeah, so somebody who's so open about so emotional about his position and shows it to his opponent to the world rather yeah like it it's easily written like there's so many videos we can just see where kaspar shows what's going on in his mind and isn't him showing his uh, emotions actually a sign of confidence that he doesn't really care what the opponent can find out from his expressions he's just saying this is what i feel i'm going to show myself and uh, i think it's uh, he just has yeah that's what i mean it worked for him so this is like uh, this is kind of uh, it's uh, you have to figure out what works for you so if he figured out that worked for him and it worked wonders like for 20 straight years he was world number 1 and well by by consent the greatest player who ever yes lived yeah so uh ayush gupta asks you what do you think about a3 gambit that magnus played after e4 c5 a3 well uh, anything is possible the, we are living in the age of alpha 0 now and anything anything is possible i think a lot of things will be unearthed in the coming years things that we knew nothing about i mean regarding chess and uh, well in this age in this time we are very lucky to be you know part of this modern modern times where alpha zero suddenly has you know turned everything upside down and and okay we've been living with engines for over a decade now but uh, over two decades almost but uh, but uh, like i said chess chess has got Im immense uh, possibilities still So A3 is not I mean I I I remember Grandmaster Evgeny Vladimirov used to say this very famous line which became famous I mean that's his personal quote that uh, white can do many things in chess and uh, uh, I think this holds true I mean white can do many things black probably do not have does not have uh, that kind of option like you can't play A6 you know for without reason yeah Yeah, then so. <laughs> then you have to be tony miles and then you can beat kaspar oh sorry Karpo. Karpo. <laughs> yeah, okay <laughs> but uh, umkar chakradev has a nice uh, point here he says don't play e4 c5 a3 because there is an illegal move trick in there and that's what inarkiev uh, did at the end yeah there was this illegal <laughs> move and you lose this okay <laughs> that's a nice one um, by the way So let's, uh, quickly move over. Yeah, yeah. just let's yeah. finish off this game. Uh, yeah, we saw this entire trick and yeah, he's made some more progress now. Yeah, yeah, slowly yeah. and steadily he did make yeah. progress. He won now the B two pawn. pawn and 
Uh, it should have been. Oh, okay. He lost the b6 as well, but uh, okay. Pawn is a pawn. Yes, but he has all his pieces very nicely positioned. So. Ah, that was quick. That was a nice <laughs> queen g2. And over. Yeah. So nice games today. By the way, not really any big upsets happening. Mm -hmm. No top seeds, I think, lost. So. I think we should uh, call it a day right now and yeah I think we we'll be back for the evening and uh, please uh, keep watching this uh, live feed uh, Sagar obviously is doing a tremendous job of it and uh, of course we yeah. all will chip in time and time and time to time yes uh, so stay tuned uh, do subscribe and uh, we should be online around 6:30 or 7 p.m. between this time in the evening to follow the second round of the open section yeah it'll be uh, pretty exciting I see some some really nice pairings out there and uh, it'll be good it'll be good f i mean like we we will we are really going to enjoy this evening sure thank you thank you all